We've become extremely dependent on robots because of how far technology has come. These machines have spread to almost every industry and help businesses reach their goals and objectives in the best way possible. In fact, every day new things are being made in the field of robotics. With that in mind, let's look at the top 10 robots that will take new shape in 2023 and beyond. First up, at number 10, Robear. Robear is a high-tech teddy bear that's designed to help an elderly person get from their bed to a wheelchair. We can already see that this this robot is going to make a name for itself in the healthcare field. This cool robot has actuator units with a very low gear ratio, which lets the joints move quickly and precisely. It also has back drivability, which means that the force the actuators feel as they do their jobs can be quickly fed back into the system to make the joints move more gently. Apart from this, it also has three types of sensors, including torque sensors and smart rubber capacitance type tactile sensors made entirely of rubber. These sensors let the robot move gently so it can do tasks that require a lot of power, like lifting patients without putting them in danger. Coming up at number 9, Ibo. Ibo is an adorable robot dog that was made by Sony. This robot was out of production for almost a decade, but now it's back with even more ways to help humans do their jobs. This mechanical puppy responds to praise and head scratches, can learn tricks, and will look for its owner. One thing that can't be ignored is that it comes with an app that owners can use to change system settings or add new tricks. It can also connect to the internet cloud to store memories. The ERS-1000 was the first Ibo model to come out, after the line of products was brought back to life in January 2018. It has an LTE SIM card so that people can interact and learn through cloud computing. One thing though is that you'll need a constant internet connection if you want it to work fully. Up next at number 8, RP Vita. RP Vita was made by two leaders in their fields, iRobot and InTouch Health. The robot combines the latest technologies for autonomous navigation and mobility made by iRobot. They've made this robot with the latest technology technologies for telemedicine and integrating electronic health records made by InTouch Health. RP Vita lets doctors talk to patients remotely, making sure that the doctor is in the right place at the right time and has all the clinical information they need to act right away. The robot is easy to use like never before. It maps its own environment and uses a variety of high-tech sensors to move around a busy space on its own without getting in the way of people or other things. Using an easy-to-use iPad interface, a doctor can visit a patient and talk to hospital hospital staff and other patients, no matter where they are, with just one click. Following up at number 7, UR10. The UR10 is the biggest of the collaborative robots made by Universal Robots. It can carry up to 10 kilograms, which is insane. It was made to handle big jobs that still need a lot of accuracy and dependability. This robot is the best choice for collaborative packaging, palletizing, assembly, and pick-and-place tasks. With a reach of up to 1300 millimeters, it can do its job well over a large area. This can save time on production lines, where distance becomes a big factor you need to consider. What's nice is that, in less than an hour, even an untrained person can take the robot out of its box, mount it, and program it to do its first task. Patented technology with easy-to-understand 3D visualization makes it very easy for new operators to program the robot. What's more, at number 6, we have Nimble. This is one of those freaky clever robots that we simply just can't leave out. This Nimble robot can fly at a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour, just as well as a real insight with wings. With Nimble in place, it won't be a problem to do things outside when the wind is light. Also, this robot is less likely to break and can do aggressive moves like loops and barrel rolls, as well as 360 degree flips. In the making of several well-known brands, Quick Robots have picked up more than 15 million objects across 500,000 different products. This one can also reliably handle almost any object or product that can fit into a bin. They do this by using a variety of grippers and supervised autonomy. This company's AI learns which grippers work best for different objects and then changes its gripper automatically to pick stuff up. Let's look at number 5, Robohone. Robohone is basically a cell phone that looks like a robot. With a screen for a stomach, the little robot can be used as a phone but it can also do more than that. The first model can move and talk to let you know about calls and other things. It even had a projector in its head, so it could lean forward and project larger images on surfaces. This was helpful for looking at photos, following a recipe, or just having a new way to do something without using your hands. The newer, second-generation Robohome was even cuter than the first one, and it comes in both LTE and Wi-Fi only versions. There's also a cheaper version that costs around 500 bucks plus tax, but this one can't walk. It can still move its head and upper body to music and other things though. Overall, the new Robohone range has faster reactions and response times. Next at number 
4. Double Double is well known as a telepresence mobile robot that can be controlled from a distance and lets people talk to each other no matter where they are. What Double really does is give its users a physical presence in a distant place. It also lets their user change its height on their own, so they can use it easily whether they are sitting or standing. In no time at all, Double became the ultimate work from home tool. Double 3 is a two-wheeled, self-driving video conferencing robot that changes how people work or learn remotely. As more and more employers let employees work from home or set their own hours, hybrid offices and classrooms need tools that work well in these situations. Double 3 is the best way for students and people who work from home to feel closer to their co-workers by giving them a physical presence. Moving on to number 3, Junko Chihira. Let's say you're a tourist in Japan and you want to find out some information from the Tourist Information Center. Junko Chihira, a humanoid robot who works in Aqua City Odaiba, might be able to answer your questions. She's a humanoid robot made by Toshiba using technology made by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a robotics researcher at Osaka. Junko Chihira is very good at talking to people and has a lot of different facial expressions. She can also say hello to tourists in Japanese, English, and Chinese, which makes it much easier for everyone to communicate. Apart from this, Junko is also set up to use sign language to help tourists who can't hear. This robot was made with the help of several advances in artificial intelligence made by Toshiba. She has speech synthesis technology and natural language processing built into her, so she can understand tourist questions and give the right answers. There's also a more advanced version of Junko Chihira called Kane Chihira, which can be taught to speak any language. Kane Chihira moves and thinks much better than other characters because she was made for the tourism and travel industry. Let's talk about at number two, Jidabot. We all hate having to carry our shopping bags the whole way, right? But you can finally say goodbye to that. Jida has come to our aid. This robot is made so that it'll follow you and take care of your shopping and luggage for you. The Jida robot is a two-wheeled transporter that can keep its own balance and follows a human leader while following pedestrian rules. Before this, the first Jidas were cylinders with two wheels that looked like rubber treads on the outside. Between the wheels of each unit was a cargo box. Even though it could go up to 22 miles per hour, which is fast enough to keep up with a runner or cyclist, the production models could only go 6 miles per hour. What's more, the Jita navigates with the help of many cameras and sensors. Finally, at number 1, K-Max. Cayman Aerospace Corporation and Lockheed Martin Corporation came up with the idea for the unmanned aircraft K-Max. This is what the US military is using right now to get supplies and cargo to specific places without putting people in danger. How cool is that? Another thing to note is that it can be controlled from afar. It's designed to load cargo from the outside and can lift more than 2700 kilograms, which is more than the empty weight of the helicopter. It can also be used in battle to bring supplies to the battlefield or in civilian situations with chemical, biological, or radiological hazards. After more than a decade of not being made, Cayman announced in June 2015 that it would start making the K-Max again because it had 10 commercial orders. And on that note, that's a wrap for this video. Which one of these robots would be useful to you more? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.